Hello everybody and welcome into the SFA Season 14 College Football Playoff. We are back for the second half of the quarterfinals in the CFP Peach Bowl that will feature number two Maryland taking on number seven LSU. Let me know if you can hear me before we get started. Uh, if this is your first time watching the SFA, it's an online dynasty ran through Discord, Twitch, and YouTube. You can join in at any time. You can claim an open team. You can set the depth charts, the playbooks, hire coordinators. You can recruit players, participate in our sports book, our stock market. It's a really fun time, fun community. Check links in any of our descriptions. And uh, if you are watching live, you might run into an ad or two. Um, feel free to use that Twitch Prime sub here is you will uh, get ad free and then and not miss out on any of the action and uh, the winner of the CFP gets a care package containing a trophy some merch and a bunch of other stuff so uh, we'll see who wins it today um, if you want more SFA content you can follow us on Instagram at simulated football association or you can check patreon.com slash the SFA for additional game days uh, access to our podcast and a bunch of other different little bonuses so as we get started here also check out our friends over at home field apparel a uh, great apparel company out there for college gear they do a lot more than just football they just went crazy for march madness so check them out uh, use code sfa for 15 percent off your first purchase and uh and it also works once um email and we have an affiliate link as well and thanks for the sub cryo you are a legend um definitely outclassing dog water at this point as my favorite member <laughs> um but uh yeah so we are here for maryland and lsu so before we get into the rosters let's take a look at the matchup history and these teams have only faced twice and lsu has taken it down both times and ironically one of the the, both of these teams very first matchup in the SFA all the way back in season one they faced each other um, so very interesting to see the matchup history and then also Maryland this is their first time in the CFP since season six where they went to the national championship and lost to Arizona and for LSU this is their first time ever making the CFP this is their best season ever uh, their, their previous be best season was getting eight wins. So this is definitely going to be some new blood making a run in the CFP. And we'll start with LSU, the seven seed who came off of a 16-8 to eight defensive struggle versus Tennessee and Coach Nick. So Coach Llama back at it for day two of his CFP run, led by Grant Davis, who will likely enter the transfer portal. You got running back William Keller. Wide receiver, SFA player, and former quarterback for the Penn State Nittany Lions, Terrell Pryor. You got the million-dollar man, Deshaun Nevers. Matt Carrington, he also won the Jets, so those are the big three. You'll also see Phil Harrell get some action. At tight end, you got Tavion Galloway, the SFA player. And the offensive line here is very good, except for the center and the right guard. Um, so that right side is a lot weaker than the left. And on defense, you got Nathaniel Bandit, the senior, the SFA player. You've got Doug Smith on the other side. And in the middle, it's Mark Bell and Blake Quinn. At linebacker, it's Charles Mosley, the SFA player, Ash Cookman in the middle. And the right side is Andre Parker. And at corner, you got the transfer from Arizona State. It's Armani Sanders. He had a great day against Chris Beach uh, last game until the very end there. Joe Gary and Jeff Oliver. This is a very, very pass-heavy team they're facing, so these guys will need to come up big. And at, and at safety, it's Brandon Livingston and Jamar Wilson. And their kicker is Garrett Wilson. He had a big day. He went three of four, I believe. Um, and he is 83 power, 80 accuracy. So now as we transition over to the Maryland Terrapins, who have been a shock on the Big Ten and the world this season as they are undefeated. The last undefeated team left in the playoff as we saw number one go down earlier today. And they are led by Jerry Schmierman. He's the transfer from Michigan State. He was left for dead in the McNasty uh, cog in, in that program and picked up by Papa Smoke. And he dedicated the program to him. And look where he is now. He is your man. And we'll see how he performs today. 
At running back, they got Brent Jackson. At wide receiver, you've got Luke Pearson, um, Bryson Warden, the SFA player, and Matt Payne. After that, they kind of fall off a cliff here. At tight end, you've got Aaron Taylor and Ron Samuel. And then Tank Brinks, he's back. He was injured for the vast majority of the year, but the SFA player is back for the playoff. And decent left guard, decent center, and Purvis Wigglesworth. He will not be your starter. He will actually start at fullback. He will be tight end two, and then he'll be the backup for the entire defensive line. He is a athletic beast. So we'll see if there's any Purvis Wigglesworth action today as Dylan Sussywell, the SFA player on the right side. On defense, you've got Ben Allen, and you've got Ron Williams, and you'll also see Brandon Cochran play a lot as well as we've got a, uh, a gifted sub here from, uh, is that Llama? Shout out to you, Llama. Um, Mike Meadows in the middle and Larry Morgan and their linebacker core, Anthony Johnson, the SFA player, Yamara Ono, and Talib Bass. And their corners, Derek Roach, 99 speed. You've got Tony Sullivan and Nick Miller. So some very speedy defenders. Uh, they're going to need, they're going to have their ha hands full here against LSU. And the safety is Brandon Slater. You've got Paris Hood. And their kicker is Carl Guerrero. It actually might be Bobby Moyer. Let's take a look who is doing the kicking. And it is. It's Bobby Murrow. He's 12 of 17 on the year. Good power, good accuracy. All right, let's get into it. So Llama and... Uh, Llama and Papa Smoke, if you're here, let me know what kind of jerseys you want to be rocking. Because we got a hype train going here early on for the CFP. Remember, folks, the VODs and highlights should be available tonight. And we'll come back for the semifinals tomorrow. All black and all purple. Interesting choices. All right, let's see if we can make it happen here. Do they have an all black? No, it's just the pride. Okay, so let's go black and black. All right, and then all purple. Ooh, they do have a purple helmet. That's that's sick. Purple. No purple pants, Llama. What pants do you want? Do you want white? Do you want silent or gold? Let me know, Llama, before we start. I'm going to get the prediction going for you guys. Okay, he wants gold. So use your Bobinos. There is no spread or anything. So do you have LSU continuing to make a run, or do you have Maryland getting it done? The number two team in the country. Remember, winner goes on to face or goes on to the Orange Bowl here. So get your predictions in. It is live while I get my thumbnail. Um, so there should be a pop-up now. You click on that, decide which side you want, and then you can add coins or bobinas. So this is, we are in the Peach Bowl today. And we still have one game later on tonight. It will be the Sugar Bowl. All right, Salama wanted the yellow pants. Okay, there you go. So we got black versus purple here. This is going to be oh, the quite the color combo as we uh, as we are in the Peach Bowl down in Atlanta. So we got 7K on Maryland, 1K on LSU so far. This is going to be a great game, folks. Um, yeah, I'm excited. This is one of those matchups that's two teams that have not had necessarily great success in the modern era. I know Maryland had some good success back in sim matchup. Um, but Maryland's coming off four straight five and seven seasons. They're undefeated. They're the dream team this year. And LSU, first time they've ever been good. So I'm ex super excited for this one. Um, outside an ECU game, this is definitely my favorite matchup so far. So let's kick it off here. We're waiting for you guys to get your predictions in. This is going to be a good one, folks. All right. Number two versus number seven. Let's get into this. We are off in the Peach Bowl. Let's hope it doesn't mess up our jerseys this time like it did in the last game. We've had some pretty good matchups. Both of them were semi-close towards the end. We haven't had a 
We've yet to really have a true one-score game here in the CFP. Everybody's been just like short of two possessions off, so we haven't had a, that true end-of-game action yet. All right, here we go. We are in Atlanta at the Peach Bowl. The Peach Bowl has been um, the number one seed versus the number eight and nine for the last two seasons because of Clemson, and they lost both of those games. Two years in a row, Clemson lost. They lost to Notre Dame in overtime, and then last year they lost to Georgia Southern on this field. So we'll see how LSU and Maryland fare. Here we go, folks. Oh, baby. Those are quite the helmets for LSU. We got a hype train going. Here we go. All right. Jerry Schmierman. The most unlikely uh, quarterback ever to make the playoff, you'd imagine. Is McNasty literally left him out for dead. He's picked up by the transfer portal, found a new home with Papa Smoke. Here we go. We are off. Boom! Maryland, the undefeated team, is going to start us out. Is this matchup isn't too bad, Nick. I think it's uh, I think it's all right. It's at least okay for me. I'll let you guys do what you want for the most part. But the Washington blue versus uh, purple, I just literally couldn't even. So we start out here with Schmierman. He drops back, and he delivers a strike over the middle. Oh, what a move! And a big play for Luke Pearson here to start. This is a very high-powered offense. And they get us started very early on. First play. So Armani Sanders up the top, the transfer from ASU. He locked down Chris Beach for the majority of the game yesterday as Brent, uh, Tay or Brent Jackson gets five here. We got you <laughs> talk about Euster and the Rooster. <laughs> Second and five now. We're two plays in. We're already across the 50 here for the Terps. The handoff here to Jackson. He finds him on the edge. He gets the block. There he goes. 25 yards for Jackson. The big play already hitting for the Terps. Last time we saw this team was against Michigan on game day. About midseason. And watch out for the fullback. That's Purvis Wigglesworth, folks. Schmierman, open man, a stiffy inside the 10, Aaron Taylor. So three games in, and you talk about teams on the bye week versus everything else, you know, if they come out sluggish, Buffalo and Maryland have both come out firing on all cylinders. As first and goal now immediately, can Maryland punch it in? First and goal, it's a handoff to Jackson. He runs over one and he stopped. Jamar Wilson on the tackle, that's the safety. He's the man taking over for Cassius Dreyer who transferred to Buffalo. So second and goal now here, I formation. That's another handoff here to Jackson. To the edge, what a lead block. Touchdown, Maryland. A quick strike here in the peach. And what a lead block from Purvis Wigglesworth. So a very quick drive here to start us out. We'll see how LSU responds as they only gave up eight points against Tennessee. So Carrington, the Jet Award winner, brings this one back to the 30, or to the 27. So how will LSU play now? They they won the game, but they felt like they could have done so much more on offense, only scoring 16 points yesterday. First and 10, Grant Davis keeps it here, and he breaks one. He breaks another. He's still going. That's 17. 
Might have an offensive master class on our hands here, folks. Oh, I'm doing great, man. It's CFP time. First and 10, we got Grant Davis in shotgun. He drops back. Time. And he's sacked. Down he goes. Mike Meadows getting through. So not a good start here for LSU. Second and 17 now behind the sticks. Terrell Pryor at the bottom of your screen. The million dollar man at the top. They're now in the pistol. Davis, he takes off again and he's going to fall. Oh no, that's a sack of 16. Not too many plays in the playbook for third and 33. What can LSU do on the first drive? And he's sacked a third time. Fourth and 40. Three straight sacks ends this drive in dramatic fashion. Fourth and 40. Unbelievable sequence here for Maryland to start the game. So we punt it now here. Maryland firing on every cylinder possible as we get a nice return. And they'll start out across the 50. Mama saying, good God. <laughs> All right. Well, time to lock in, LSU. You got punched in the face. How are you going to respond? It's a first and 10, and there you go. Nice play in the backfield. Charles Mosley, the outside linebacker, makes the play. So second and 14 now. Safety coming in. It's a fake. Schmierman, he has time. Dumps this short. See if Aaron Taylor can make a play. He gets eight. So it's going to be a third and medium. LSU can get off the field here. Third and six. Only three down linemen. Got to look at Nathaniel Bandit. Get some pressure. Man in motion. That's Taylor. Third and six. Dumps that short to Taylor, and he gets the first. Taylor has been a massive problem. Four for four. So first and ten, a toss out to Jackson again. He gets the edge. He pushes forward, gets two. Remember, Oklahoma lost earlier today, so Maryland is the only undefeated team left in the country. High formation, Wigglesworth out to the slot. Watch out for Wigglesworth. Wigglesworth in the slot. Please throw it to him. Second and eight. They are going to throw it, please. Oh, Schmierman takes off. He makes some room. What a move. And he gets four. Wigglesworth came into the, uh, the SFA as a uh, true athlete for the offensive line and tight end and fullback. Third and four here, just outside the 30. It's going to be another toss out, and Jackson goes nowhere. LSU gets the stop. Tosses aren't really working here. So fourth down, they do bring out the field goal unit. This will be a 49-yarder from left hash to extend this lead to 10. The kick is up, and it is good for Maryland. Great start here for Coach Papa in his first career CFP game. So LSU now. They've got to respond. they got to stop. There's Carrington. He finds the edge. There goes Carrington. The jet. He goes. Can he outrace him? What a return. 73 yards for Carrington.
The big play they needed. Can LSU... They gave up three sacks last drive. Here goes Davis up the middle, and he gets nine. LSU starting to heat up here. If they can just protect Davis even a little bit, they should be okay. Split backs here, Keller in the backfield. Delayed give, and he's going to get the first down, his first carry. We've yet to see a target or a throw here for Davis. First and 10 inside the 20. LSU is going to throw. No, Davis going to take off again. He finds the edge, and oh, Yamara, oh no, brings him down. The SFA player. He came into the SFA as a safety, played there his freshman year, and was converted to linebacker. Second and eight. That left side looks pretty open if they decide to run it that way. Davis, quick option. He can't get the pitch out. Down he goes. Big play there from Ron Williams. So third and 12 here for LSU, trying to get on the board. Davis drops back. Will he throw it? And no, oh, he sacked again. Already four sacks here in the first quarter. The old Dominion transfer again. That right side just cannot hold. So same problems from the Tennessee game as they have to stall for a field goal. It's a 42-yarder right in the center. Can LSU keep pace? Yes, they do. 10 to 3. Obviously, you would have loved to have a touchdown there, but it's all about keeping pace, staying within a score. You know, you're going against an undefeated team, right? It's not going to be an easy task. You just got to hang with them till it's late. Maryland gets back to the 20. And, a man, look at that. Negative 11 total yards here for LSU. They've taken a good five, about 50 yards of sacks so far. I don't think we've ever seen such a dominant start. First and 10 for Maryland. They're back out. We've yet to see a target for Bryson Warden, the SFA player. Schmierman, he's throwing this one. That's a strike, and he finds Taylor again. He stays in bounds. The tight end is feasting. You wonder why Jake Lax in the third couldn't feast like this yesterday. I feel like every pass has gone to Taylor. Cross the 50 now. Delay give. This is Jackson. He finds room. Runs over a man. And that's a first down. And this is also where, you know, you, you can consider wear and tear. LSU coming from a very defensive battle against Tennessee. You know, probably beaten up a little bit. And Maryland fresh legs. Haven't played since a Big Ten championship. First and 10, quick option for Schmierman. He keeps it, and he goes down. Schmierman can run it a little bit. That's just not what he's known for. He's kind of like a Drew Brees type of a guy. That's what he was built on, that archetype. So second and 10 here. Quick throw, and he hits him. What a catch by Luke Pearson. Just inches of separation made that play possible. And I say I'm very impressed with Maryland so far, folks. A lot of people thought this could be an upset. It's been a great start for Maryland. As we're back into the pistol, they're going to throw it. And that is a catch to Luke Pearson inside the five. Turtles love it. All right, Maryland trying to go up two scores. 
We're going to have to wait. So as we hit the end of the first quarter, Maryland has shown up here in the Peach. 10-3 start. All because of the defense. So we flip sides now. It's going to be first and goal. Under center is Schmierman. Purvis in motion, handoff, and Bandit stops him. Nice stop there from Nathaniel Bandit, the SFA player. Second in goal, Purvis in the offset eye. Schmierman makes a move, a handoff to Jackson again, a stiffy, another broken tackle, and they swarm him. LSU showing up big. Third and goal here for Schmierman. And he's sacked. LSU gets him back. Mark Bell. So Maryland has to settle for a field goal here to re-extend it to 10 points. It's going to be a chip shot 30-yarder. Kick is up, and it is good. All right, they got a great kickoff return from the Jet winner last time. What can they do this time? It's just going to be a touchback. Keller gets negative one yards. I made the player, I'll make the pronunciation, and that's how it will be. Smearman, Schmearman. It's easier for me to say Schmearman, so I'm going to do that. So, sorry. Second and 11. Davis over the middle, and that's a catch and a lot of traffic, but it's the million dollar man, Niebers. Third and one, can Maryland get off the field? Davis, he has time this time, but a jump throw and it's tipped away. So just happy feet there in the pocket, doesn't feel comfortable. So that's a three and out. First and 10 now. And Jackson, he gets about one. LSU starting to wake up on the defensive end. Maryland's been dominating the trenches so far. Can they continue to do so? In shotgun. Taylor in motion. He's been crazy today. Quick option here for Schmierman. And he cuts inside. What a move. And he falls forward. Gets about nine. They hurry it up to the line. Third and inches here for Maryland. He runs it up the gut, and Schmierman gets the first. Jerry been getting it done a little bit more than normal as Wigglesworth in motion. They hand it off, runs through a man, finds the hole, and somehow turns that into 15. Brent Jackson, not highly rated, but definitely really good. Look at him go.
First and 10 under center, handoff. And that's another first down. Offensive line just dominating here. Much like what we saw in the Buffalo game. Pull over half of the second quarter here left. And they throw that over the middle and it's dropped as Ash Cookman meets him. Second and 10 now. LSU seems to only wake up in the red zone. They're going to audible into, looks like shotgun here, a little bunch action. Schmierman drops back. He has time and he's sacked. That's Nathaniel Bandit. Both defenses just getting involved. The sacks are going crazy from both sides as it's now a third and long. Split back set here, third and forever, over the middle, and oh, a big hit, and the ball's knocked out. Hospital ball there from Schmierman. And they bring out the field goal unit yet again. This one is going to be a 44-yarder to put him up 13. Kick is up, and it's good for Maryland. Great start for the kicker. Pretty much an exact inverse of what happened with LSU in Tennessee uh, in the first round. And they just let this one go out the back of the end zone. We'll see if LSU can generate anything. The defense is helping them out, stopping a Maryland three times for field goals. Split backs here for Davis. He's not been comfortable in the pocket at all today. Dumps this one off and maybe gets three from Graham. Second and seven. One total yard here for LSU here in the second quarter. Dumps that one off. There's Tay Young Galloway. He gets a first. First and 10, Keller out. They throw it his way, and that's a catch. That's Phil Harrell. Full house look now. Fake it, play action, dump it off quickly to Keller. He stays in bounds. He runs over a man and gets nine. So it looks like LSU to combat the offensive line is going to very quick passes. Across the 50 now, second and one. Davis over the middle and he hits him and that's a drop. Drops galore on both sides. So third and short, four wide, need a yard. Davis dumps that one off. That's a catch. There's Galloway again. So inside the 40 now and in the pistol. Yet to see Terrell Pryor be targeted. And that's a counter and Keller goes nowhere. Second and 10. And there's Niebers. He gets six. And he hangs on. Nice pitch and catch there. Just taking what the defense gives him. A little under three minutes left here. And I believe Maryland start with the ball. So LSU can... Uh, Get back into this. They get the ball after half. It's third and four. Over the middle. There's a catch, and that's Carrington. So 
So first down. Full house. Hand off. Versus field. Breaks a tackle. And back to the original line of scrimmage. Tough run in there from Keller. So second and ten now. Grant Davis, quick option, nothing doing. Big play there. That's Brandon Cochran, the transfer from Old Dominion. He has been such a critical cog in this defense. Third and 14 here for LSU. Split back set for the Tigers. And they just all got caught up in the backfield. Nothing doing there. As out comes the field goal unit. Try to push this back to a 10-point game. This one will be about a 39-yarder. And that's a miss. He pulled it. Unbelievable. He missed one against Tennessee, and that one just barely missed. A massive play there. So now Maryland comes out. They can add points before halftime. They're going to hand this one off. It's Jackson. You can't be missing field goals in a field goal battle. That's wasted possession. So second and five here for Maryland. Tight end in motion. Schmierman, he drops back. He's yamming this one deep, and he connects wide open man down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Terps. It's Bryson Warden, his first catch of the day. The SFA in-game recruit, created by Coach Zach, hits him back in the face against his favorite team. The Jerry Schmierman yam, baby. It's all Maryland now. Armani Sanders got absolutely toasted in the press there. Bryson Warden took it to the house. So 23 to three now. Rel Pryor trying to make something happen here. Got a minute left. So first and 10 now here for LSU. And that goes nowhere. Maryland is reeling at this point. These seconds left. They still have all three timeouts. They can move it. And Terrell Pryor gets his first catch of the day. He breaks one. Oh no, pushes him out. So third and one. And off to Keller. That's going to be a first down. Thirty-eight seconds. Got to try to muster something here. Davis. He takes off. He finds some room. Nobody there, and he slides for a first. And Carrington gets seven there. Clock continues to tick. They got one timeout in the back pocket. Easily in yam range here. Second and three, Davis does take off, he escapes, he gets some, and that's going to be 11. Sixteen seconds left here. Galloway in motion. No timeouts left. Davis, he has time over the middle, and it's hung on, Matt Carrington. 
They hurry it up here. They're going to spike it with about nine seconds. And oh, no. The false start is going to move them back five yards. Does stop the clock, though. So they bring out the field goal unit here to chip away at this lead before halftime. The kick is up, and it's off the upright, LSU! Oh, what are you doing? The second miss of the game. Just LSU is just folding here in their first ever neutral site playoff game. And as we head to halftime here in the Peach Bowl, it's all Maryland. The undefeated Terps are winning by 20. Sacks and missed field goals is the difference. Remember, folks, uh, after this game, we have the Sugar Bowl between the TCU Horn Frogs and Coach Mango going up against Coach TC and the East Carolina Pirates. If you want to uh, also check out the previous two games, both the VODs and the highlights are already available on the YouTube channel for you. But it's been all Terrapins here early. And also a reminder, our semifinals will be Monday afternoon. And man, look at the spread. Those 12 rushing yards, those sack yards are just eating away at LSU. And then the missed field goals. So we are off in the second half. LSU gets the ball to start it. Can they come out on all cylinders? Down three scores. Come on out. Trips left and Pryor alone on the right side. Davis drop back. Four man rush. Hits him and that's Carrington again. Carrington's been the best receiver today for him. As they're already threatening the 50. Split backs here for LSU. Davis makes an adjustment going into the pistol. Carrington to the slot. And they take off. That's another sack. He spun right into him. Ron Williams getting involved. Maryland's defense has been quite impressive. Second and 16 now. LSU just can't help but go backwards. So they continue to load the box here despite the... Uh, Fight the white set is Davis keeps it. He has some room. He breaks away. Grant Davis down the sideline. There he goes. Touchdown, LSU. 64-yard house call from Grant Davis. And that's exactly what they needed. So the extra point now to get within 13. And those missed field goals, man, are killing you as it would be only a seven-point game at this point. But still two scores. But it took 51 seconds here to get a touchdown. You can score quickly. That's all you can do is here comes Maryland. See what they can do here in the second half. 
Air first drive. Schmierman under center. He's going to audible into the shotgun. A little bunch here at the bottom. Lay give to Jackson. He finds some room and he falls forward for nine. Um, the their, their kicker's decent. He has like 83 power, 80 accuracy somewhere in there. Not bad by any means. Safety's coming down. They're going to throw it here. Schmierman, he takes off. He finds some room. There he goes. And doesn't slide. So first and 10 here for Maryland. Once again, audibling into this little bunch formation. Schmierman delivers a strike. It's almost picked. Joe Gary drops it. That would have been massive. Second and 10 now, man in motion. They're gonna throw it again. Schmierman dumps that one off short and Cookman wraps him up. So a third and six here now at their own 45. 40% on third down today, bunch again. Delayed give to Jackson, and he goes nowhere. LSU gets the stop they needed. So pun formation now here for Maryland. And they almost get through. Gearing up for a return here, and that will go into the end zone. So less than three minutes into the second half, LSU's already scored touchdown and gotten a stop. Can they duplicate that first possession and find a way into the end zone? Hand off to Keller. He's been a non-factor today. He cuts inside, and he gets nine. They're going to mark him short. Only 15 yards today for Keller. Second and inches, Davis. Play action, he rolls right. He's gonna just take off, there he goes, and he slides. Grant Davis kind of having to play hero ball today. Running game not working, pass game not really working as there's no pocket. He's had to do it all himself. First and 10 for Davis, and they hand it off to Keller. There's some run. He gets a nice gain there, 16. Drive is alive. It's been all LSU here in the third quarter. Split backs here. LSU throws that to the edge, and that's a catch from Harrell. Here come the Tigers inside the 40. Delay give to Keller and not much. These are two programs. This is their first playoff appearance in the NCAA 14 era. Both these programs, they don't know how to win. They've got to learn. They've got to fight back through adversity. See who can make a push. Davis. Quick throw out there, one-handed grab, and it's dropped by the Million Dollar Man. So a third and 10 now here for LSU, just inside the 40. Davis dumps that off, potentially four down territory here. And yes, they will go for it. So fourth down here for LSU. Split back set, safety coming on down. Keller in motion. Pick it up, dump that short, and Carrington can't get there. It's a turnover on downs. You would have liked him to at least throw it across the line to gain. Not really sure the strategy there from Llama. As Maryland takes over now as we're halfway through the third quarter. Schmierman. 
Dumps that one off. It's going to be a first down for Luke Pearson. So first and 10 now, Schmierman, and he throws it away. 10 of 14 today. He hasn't really need to throw it a whole bunch. They've been able to run the ball very well with, with uh, Brent Jackson. So under center, only three down linemen. Hand it off again to Jackson, and he is stuffed in the backfield. So third and nine now. Another big chance here for LSU to get off the field. Split backs. Schmierman dumps this short to Taylor, and he runs out of real estate. Fourth down. So punt unit coming back. Second drive in a row where the drive stalls around midfield. Gearing up for a return here. They let it go, and that was risky. But it's just going to be a touchback here. LSU takes back over. Still a two-possession game. A little over 12 minutes left in the game. Plenty of time here for the Tigers. Hand off to Keller. He just seemingly stops at the line of scrimmage. Gets about three. Got to be decisive. You got to hit that hole with confidence. Cochran on the tackle. Four wide. Second and seven. Keller. He pushes and he is stuffed in the backfield. So a quick third down now here for LSU. Three of eight on third down today. Third and seven. Davis takes the snap. He assesses. He yams. And it's an open man. Nobody around him. Down the sideline. Deshaun Devers. Touchdown, LSU. The million-dollar man gives the Tigers hope. Worth every penny. Nobody was covering him. Complete broken coverage there. Unbelievable. And had they not missed those two field goals, we'd have a tie game, folks. Coach Papa just completely choking here in the third quarter. It's been all LSU. They're on the return and can't even get to the 20. We are shaping up for a great game here, folks. Grant Davis, keeping them in it. If you're desperate for a quarterback, he very well may be available in the TP. First and 10 now for Schmierman. Had a couple drive stall here in the second half. Audible to the full house. Brent Jackson gets seven. They need to find some of that identity from the first half. Schmierman, he takes off and gets away and gets a first. Thought he's going to get sacked there, but Bandit could not track him down. Quick throw out to Warden, and he gets five. Time ticking away here in the third. We've got a six-point ball game, folks. Under center now, I formation. Purvis Wigglesworth at fullback. Man in motion. And a delay give it here to Jackson. LSU never saw it coming. First down. First and 10 now at the 50. This is where they've stalled two drives in a row. And they keep moving the ball. It's Jackson. Breaks a tackle and gets six. Hard running. So 
Now across the 45 here in shotgun is Schmierman. Got four receivers. And off again to the outside. That's going nowhere. Wrapped up by Livingston and company. LSU is reeling, man. They have all the momentum right now. Maryland's got to find a way. They're up 23-3 to at halftime. Third and five, split back sets. Schmierman, he has time, dumps that off quick, but it's going to be fourth down. And they are going for it here. Fourth and two on the 42. What is the call? Schmierman's gonna throw it, a deep drop. He takes off, and he is brought down to Thandle Bandit on your dome. Turnover on downs for the Tigers. The senior SFA player making his presence felt today. So here comes LSU. They were down 20 at halftime. Last play of the third quarter, they could take the lead. Davis keeps it. Davis... And he somehow gets through there for three. As we head to the fourth quarter here in the Peach Bowl, folks, we've got a great one brewing. 23 to 17, the Terps lead. But the Tigers are coming. At the 50 now for LSU as we flip sides. Quick option, Davis breaks the tackle. Davis, he's still going a first down. And he's still on his feet. What is happening? They give him the first. Grant Davis, he quickly throws this, it's intercepted! Maryland's going the other way! They're gonna take this to the house! The Terps pick six, Tony Sullivan. And just when you thought LSU was going to do it, Maryland shuts the door. They're trying to find Deshaun Niebers, the million dollar man. And Sullivan said no. The kick is up and we are back to a 13 point game. Still plenty of time. LSU in the third quarter uh, scored 14 unanswered anyways, but that definitely hurts the soul there if you are a LSU fan. Thirty to seventeen. Keller goes down. It's Cochran, or that's Ron Williams. His fourth TFL of the day. Second and thirteen now here for LSU, trying to fight back. Davis has plenty of time. He's going to take off again. He cuts inside. Breaks a tackle and gets 11. Third and two. This is a crucial drive. They've got to convert. Davis keeps it. He has to find a way. He gets there. Incredibly difficult game today for Grant Davis. Couple of mistakes, some missed field goals. He's still giving his team a chance. He runs it. Still finding room. Breaks a tackle. Grant Davis again. Down the sideline. He's gone. Davis on your dome. 62 to the house. His second long bomb of the game. 
The entire play, it just felt like he would go down, and he just never did. We have got ourselves a crazy game here, folks, in the Peach. It's been all big plays. All gas, no brakes, folks. It's 30 to 24. Grant Davis doing it with his legs, his arms, giving the other team points. And they still find themselves down six. What a game. Maryland gets the ball back here. And Maryland has not scored an offensive point in this half. They're up 23-3. to And they've done nothing on offense since. Hand off to Brent Taylor. A runs through a man. It's five. Over 100 yards here for Brent Jackson on the day. Play action fake. Dumps this off to Purvis Wigglesworth, and he gets a first down. Shout out to Wigglesworth. First and 10 here for Maryland. Hand off to Jackson again, leading the way. He gets nine. Second and one now. Give me a screen pass to Jackson. He turns up field. He has the blockers and he runs out of bounds. Five yard gain, fresh set of downs here. We got about six minutes left here in the Peach Bowl. Who's headed to the orange? One possession game, Maryland. Schmierman, he goes down again. Another sack for Bandit, his third of the day. He is cooking sussy well there on the right side. Second and 16 now. Split backs. Schmierman dumps that one off to Pearson, and he gets five. The offensive line starting to break down a little bit. Third and 11. Maryland desperate for points, trying to re extend it to two scores. Only two of eight on third down today, 25%. Third and 11. And they are going to start. So Schmierman, he floats it open. Man, that's pain. First down. The Tigers can't believe it. They thought they had him. And fans starting to wonder, can we just give Grant Davis another chance? Is that is stopped by Bandit yet again. Four TFLs, three sacks. Bandit is going nuclear today. Second and 12 are empty now for Schmierman. It's going to be a delayed give to himself. He stiffies one, and he gets five. So as they enter field goal range here, third and seven. Just outside the 30-yard line would be a 48-yard field goal from here. Third and seven empty. Taylor in motion. Schmierman delivers a strike. Hung on by Warden, but he's going to be short. So decision time for Papa. And they bring out the field goal unit. A 42-yarder here to make this a two-score game. They're going to run some clock here. So to make this a two-score game, the 42-yarder from Ray Hash. The kick is good. Up and... No good! He pushed it right! No! Maryland gives LSU a chance! 
Oh. Both teams just folding. So Grant Davis gets his shot. He drops back. He yams it deep. 50-50 on your dome. Harrell brings it down. What a throw from Davis. Davis is on another level. He is going crazy today. Across the 50 now, it's been all Grant Davis. 260 plus yard TD runs. A yammer to the million dollar man. And that's four. I just realized every score in the second half is Grant Davis. He had 260 plus yard runs. The long bomb to Niebers and the pick six he threw to Maryland. Second and six. Keller up the gut. That's going to be a first down and more. Maryland on the ropes. They were winning by 20 at halftime. They felt like they had this in the bag. They hurry it up now. Just over two minutes left in the game. Split backs. It's Keller again. He gets six. That missed field goal is going to haunt Papa Smoke for forever if they lose this game. Second and four. Just over two minutes. Davis, he's going to throw it. Davis to the end zone. Touchdown, Terrell Pryor. He gives LSU the lead. The comeback's complete. Holy Toledo. The man that started out at Penn State as a as a quarterback. He transferred to LSU under uh, under coach Skyflyer, moved to wide receiver, and he makes the potential game winning catch here in the CFP. What a story for Terrell Pryor as Maryland now has blown a 20 point lead here in the second half. Perhaps letting Cryo off <laughs> Off the leash for the 18 point lead he blew is Maryland might be blowing a 20 pointer here in the CFP. Two minutes left. Jerry Schmierman legacy drive. Lock in. Can be a delayed give to Jackson, and he only gets about three. Remember, all they need to do is get into field goal range. Their kicker's three of four on the day. Minute 46 left, back under center again. Defense playing way off. They remember what happened last uh, round against Tennessee. Give to Jackson, he's pushing. Not sure why they're continuing to run it here. It's gonna be third and six now here for Maryland. Schmierman, he takes off, and it's going to be Bandit! His fourth sack of the day! LSU! They can taste it! Fourth down, they're going for it. Fourth and ten. Safety coming down. Schmierman. Makes it makes a change. Schmierman delivers a strike. Can they get their first down, Maryland? Bryson Warden. The former number one in-game recruit. The drive is alive. They bring a blitz. Schmierman takes off. He's sacked again. So many sacks here today. 47 seconds now, two timeouts. Schmierman over the middle. He hits his man, and that's going to be a first. No, they mark him short. <laughs> 43 seconds left. They had to take the second timeout. Schmierman, it's going to be a screen, and he throws it away. 
fourth and inches. Game on the line here for LSU. They can win it here. Schmierman under center. What is the call? They hand it off. And he doesn't get it. It's a turnover on downs. LSU, the comeback complete. They're headed to the Orange Bowl. Unbelievable game. Grant Davis with the craziest second half performance we've ever seen. Four touchdowns. It was 23 to three at halftime. He runs for two over 60. He passes for two. He even gave Maryland a pick six. And as we hit triple zeros here in the pinch, LSU completes a 20-point second-half comeback, and they win the game 31-30, to taking down the undefeated Maryland Terrapins. LSU and Coach Lama will advance to the Orange Bowl as they await the winner of the Sugar Bowl between TCU and East Carolina. Grant Davis with arguably the greatest half of football we've ever seen here in the SFA as Coach Papa Smoke is left in shambles on the sidelines. This is SFA football, folks. We'll see you in the next one. What in the world just happened? That is so nuts. That might be the craziest player performance we've ever seen. Like, that's borderline Micah Bernard-esque. Grant Davis, who's probably going to be in the transfer portal. Get ready to speak Tar Heel, buddy. <laughs> Sierra Laxis Bryo is... Gonna take his big budget over there. Holy Toledo. Oh, and that missed field goal is right, man. Just right. Unable to. Oh my god, dude. What a choke from Maryland. It hurts. It hurts. It was too good to be true. Up 23. We had to have some uh we had to have some craziness. Papa Smoke, I am so sorry. This is brutal. As we will now have two SEC teams in the Final Four, and they're not named Oklahoma. How crazy is that? Yeah, this one definitely going into the greatest games. Has to. Like I said, this is borderline the greatest individual performance we've ever seen in a game in the playoff. This borderline is like Martin, Martin Black-esque. This is, this is almost... Michael Bernard has like 300 yards in the national championship. This is, that was crazy. That was crazy. And we still have one more game, folks. What an unbelievable run from the Tigers here. I'm, I'm actually in shock. That was so crazy. And let's check out this, the scoring summary and the stats here as, like we said, it was all turfs early. They got a nice run. Field goal and FSH or and then LSU missed two field goals in the first half. The second quarter, they had that 73 yard yam to Warden, but then it was Grant Davis time, a 64 yarder. He hit Niebers, the million dollar man, for 77. He threw a pick six to Maryland, gave him a chance, and then another 60 yarder, and then the Terrell Pryor game winner on your dome. Unbelievable. Let me get my screenshot here. just in case we hit the glitch in the, in the home screen. All right, let's check out the stats, folks. And, <laughs> and we'll start out with Maryland here. Jerry Schmierman, the junior, the transfer from Michigan State, just couldn't quite get it and just more turmoil here. Maybe he'll come back for his senior year. Great game for him. It's just they couldn't put it together when it mattered the most. They couldn't get an offensive touchdown or even a field goal in the second half. Pearson was the leading receiver in receptions, whereas Warden had the yardage. Wigglesworth, he had three pancakes. He played pretty well. And on defense, the defensive line was ridiculous, but in the second half, they couldn't quite replicate it. The offensive line started hitting home here. They did get that one interception, though, from Tony Sullivan, the senior. And no fumbles. And then we'll look at the kicker here for Maryland. Three of four, the freshman punter. 
Just missed only one. And for LSU and Grant Davis, the junior, like I said, folks, he gave Lavello Blackley all of his budget, promised day one starter and no red shirt. So Grant Davis is likely in the transfer portal if he doesn't declare for the draft. 18 for 23, 262, two touchdowns. But look at this, 154 on the ground. Unbelievable game here for Davis. And in the second half, as Matt Carrington leads the way in receptions, Niebers leads them in yardage, but Terrell Pryor got the game winner. And on defense, it was Andre Parker, Livingston, Mosley. And how about the SFA player, Nathaniel Bandit? Four sacks, five TFLs. Like, if, if, if this was the last game, who would, who would you give the cover athlete? Would you give it to Grant Davis or would you give it to Bandit? As deflections, no fumbles, and let's check out players of the game. Remember, folks, this is not your mama's, you know, your this is not your I, IRL LSU. This is the first time they've ever won more than eight games in SFA history. Yes, a 14-year sim. The most they've ever won is eight games before this year. This is a the best team they've ever had. And it's Llama, of all people, to put them together. No shade to Llama, but come on now. As Grant Davis leads the way, Bandit on defense, Schmierman and Cochran are left crying on the sidelines. And we'll be back in about 5 to 10 minutes for the Sugar Bowl between Mango and TC. Thanks for watching.